listen to stories, and appreciate idioms. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Encountering Chinese, Encountering Idioms. Today, the idiom we are going to encounter is 东施效颦. Let's break it down and read it slowly. 东施效颦. 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 效 means imitating. 颦 means frowning. 东施效颦 literally means that a woman named Dong Shur imitates the beautiful woman she sure by frowning. Now it metaphorically refers to imitating others poorly, resulting in embarrassment. Sometimes it is also used to express humility, implying that one's own abilities are lacking and when trying to imitate others, it turns out poorly. The idiom 东施效颦 originated from the book 庄子天运 the original text states, 顾西施并心而贫其礼, 其礼之丑人见而美之, 归一捧心而贫其礼. The meaning of this phrase is that, due to she sure, a beautiful woman, experiencing chest pain, often held her chest and frowned. The neighboring ugly woman saw her and thought her posture was beautiful. So they imitated her by holding their chests and frowning. The historical anecdote behind this phrase is as follows. During the spring and autumn period in ancient China, there was a remarkably beautiful woman named Shi in the state of Yu. Her appearance was so exquisite that people believed she must be the most beautiful woman in the world. Not only that, she sure had graceful manners, a sweet voice, a constant smile on her face, and exuded a captivating charm. Despite her beauty, she did not boast or show off. She dressed modestly and did not enjoy elaborate adornments. However, her extraordinary beauty attracted envy from anyone who saw her, even when she wore simple clothing. However, despite captivating everyone with her beauty, she sure suffered from a health condition that troubled her greatly. She frequently experienced severe chest pain. When her condition flared up, she would tightly clutch her chest, furrow her brows, and display a pained expression. Surprisingly, this expression of pain revealed another form of beauty in she sure. Her neighbors privately whispered to each other. She sure is truly a beautiful woman. Even when she holds her chest and furrows her brows in pain, she looks so lovely and endearing. In the neighboring village, there lived a woman named Dong Shur who was completely different from She Shur. Dong Shur was not attractive in appearance and had always yearned to become a beauty. She had rough manners and an unamiable personality. Dong Shi often got into arguments with her neighbors over trivial matters. Whenever she argued, she would raise her voice, and her shouting could be heard throughout the village, causing others to avoid talking to her out of fear of provoking her. Moreover, Dong Shi had a strong penchant for dressing up. She frequently changed her hairstyle, wore colorful dresses, and applied heavy makeup while walking on the streets. She believed that her flamboyant appearance would earn praise from her neighbors. But no matter what she did, she never received any compliments from anyone. Once, Dong Shi was walking down the road wearing a beautiful dress when she happened to encounter Shi from a neighboring village. 
Dong Shi noticed that many people were staring at Shi Shi and whispering compliments about her beauty. At that moment, Shi Shi started experiencing her usual chest pain. She furrowed her brows, clutching her chest, looking very uncomfortable. Concerned onlookers quickly gathered around Shi Shi, offering their help. They tried to find a solution to relieve her chest pain, with some rushing to fetch a doctor for her. Eventually, Shishir's pain subsided, and everyone felt relieved and went about their own business. Observing all this, Dong Shi felt envious. She believed that by imitating Shishir's gesture of holding her chest and furrowing her brows, she would receive the same care and attention. Upon returning home, Dong Shi began diligently imitating what she had seen from Shi Shi that day. She stood in front of a mirror, clutching her chest and furrowing her brows, pacing back and forth in the house, attempting to mimic Shi Shi's movements. However, Dong Shi was unaware that Shi Shi's beauty did not stem from her illness, but rather from her gentle nature friendly smile, and naturally appealing appearance. As expected, Dong Shi's blind imitation without understanding the essence of Shi Shi's beauty only made her appear more unattractive. Her awkward and hesitant posture not only failed to garner others' concern but also seemed somewhat comical. Wealthy villagers, upon witnessing her strange demeanor, quickly shut their doors, while the poor ones hurriedly pulled their wives and children away from her. In the end, Dong Shi remained puzzled as to why Shi Shi received assistance when she made the same gestures, while she, on the other hand, caused people to avoid her. In this story, Dong Shi's attempt to imitate Shi Shi's gesture of holding her chest and furrowing her brows is referred to as Dong Shi Xiaopin. However, Dong Shi did not realize that Shi Shi's beauty was not solely based on her appearance, but also on her gentle character and kind attitude toward others. In life, each person possesses unique qualities and charms. We should cherish and develop our own individuality rather than blindly imitating others. True beauty comes from within, not merely from outward appearance. There is another story about Zhang Jioling. During the Ming Dynasty, there was a young man named Zhang Jioling. He came from a poor family but was incredibly intelligent and eager to learn. Zhang Jioling had a dream to achieve success in the imperial examinations and change his destiny. He studied diligently but faced difficulties. He realized that due to his lack of a prestigious background, he had limited opportunities to participate in the imperial examinations. He believed that in order to succeed, he needed to find another way. So, he came up with an idea to flatter officials and gain their favor. However, Zhang Jiling didn't know how to flatter officials, so he decided to imitate others. He created a false image pretending to be adept at flattering bureaucrats. He often acted extremely submissive and praised them profusely, expressing his loyalty and admiration. Unfortunately, this behavior ultimately tarnished Zheng Jioling's reputation. Although he did manage to gain some benefits, the official's opinion of him deteriorated because his flattery and sycophancy came across as insincere and repulsive. Zhang Jioling began to realize his mistake. He understood that this imitation was not true to his own character, and the pretense only made people look down on him even more. 
He knew that true respect and admiration could only be earned through one's own abilities and hard work. He reflected on his actions and started studying even harder, step by step, improving his skills. In the end, during one of the imperial examinations, Chong Jiuling achieved excellent results and became an official. He no longer imitated others but relied on his own diligence to fulfill his dream. In this story, Chong Jiuling's attempt to imitate others and flatter officials, known as Dong Shi Xiaoping, not only failed to yield the desired results but also made the officials disdain and underestimate him. Two stories have been told. Next, let's review the idiom we encountered today. Dong Shi Xiao Pin. Dong Shi Xiao Pin. Finally, let's use Dong Shi Xiao Pin to make a sentence. That's all for today's Encountering Idioms. If you like it, please like and subscribe. See you next time.